Hey friends, welcome to another build with me. Today I'll be setting up my weekly planner with some hand-drawn covers and I'll also be demonstrating one of my favorite automations. So I had hoped to show you guys a different automation today. I was going to show you how you can um, add data to a page through Integral Map, but right now Integral Map's add to page function isn't quite working properly. So instead, how about I show you how I set up my recurring tasks uh, in Integral Map. So let's open up my recurring tasks database here. Okay, so I have three tasks already set up in here. So every day I have to feed the fish. I don't know why we just completely forget <laughs> to feed the fish every day. Um, but I just put this in here as an example because we just bought a automated fish feeder so that we never have, we don't have to remember. It just does it automatically um, every 12 hours. But I couldn't think of an example of a daily task that I can do. I'm sure there's plenty of them, but I, my mind was going blank when I was setting this up. So we have our tail daily task, and then we have the number of days that we want this to recur. So since this daily is one day, um, every week I have to change out a portion of the fish tank. So since this is weekly, seven days. And let's say at the end of the month, I might have to run a report. So that would be 30 days. So let's go over to Integra Mat. We will start out with a watch database items. So we're watching for updated time. And there's my recurring database. And let's up our limit to like five. So your limit is the number of executions that's going to go through. So since I'm probably going to be checking off things, you know, all at once right now, I want to make sure that they all go through. So if I left it at two and I checked off three items, only two items are going to go in with each run. Okay. From now on, and then we're going to add update database item actually no delete that I'm going to add create new item now I could just do an update database item and have it like uncheck the box and change the date but I want to create a database item I just like that better to you know that way I can go and see like the consistency of things that you know I've checked off it's just a matter of preference so let's check recurring again. So before I go further, let me hit okay down here. Before I go further, let me run this first module. Just so we have some data to work with. And I'm gonna create a filter. And this is gonna, if done. So if our checkbox is checked off, basically let's look for a boolean. Okay, equal to true. So if it's checked, then that means it's true. Then we want to create a new database item. Okay, now we can pull in everything we need. Our name. Now start time. This is for the new item. So we've completed the task for the day and we wanted to create a new task for a specific day. So we're going to go over to this little calendar here and click add days. And then make sure your cursor, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Make sure your cursor is right after the add dates box. Let's go back to the star and get 
our date from our watch database. And then we're going to move our cursor. Sorry. Goodbye, Grammarly. Grammarly gets in our way a lot of times. All right, so we want to make our cursor after the semicolon here. And we're going to go to our dates field. Okay, so this is going to basically say after the date of the task at however many days are in our days column. All right, so no in time. I'm not gonna include time because it's we're talking about days here. It doesn't matter what hour I do it. We'll leave our done, we'll leave our checkbox alone. And let's map our tags just to make sure it returns the exact same tag as the original entry. And we want it to return the exact dates in our original entry. Okay, just make, let me go through. Make sure everything is great. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Oh, first, let's go back here and check off all of our tasks. Now let's run. One, two, three. Okay, so three went through. And three were created. As you can see, I've got another reminder for tomorrow, another for next Sunday, and another for July 31st. So, which was 30 days from where the original, I think I originally had it set for uh, the 1st of July. But yeah, so that's recurring tasks. That's it's so crazy how something that has eluded us for so long as Notion users, um, I went back too far. Something that has eluded us as Notion users can be resolved so easily with the API. Great. All right, now we can make this pretty. Oh, I am so proud of this. It's, it's been a really long time since I've actually drawn anything. I'm really liking how clean this looks. I like decorating my notion, but I sometimes feel like you can go overboard and things can get really messy. I think I say every week that this is my favorite theme, but I think this actually might be my favorite theme. And I design these covers, like the measurements are specific for my monitors. I figured out like the perfect size for my monitor so that everything shows up nicely. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to add any more graphics. I think that's good. I really like that. It's nice and clean and simple. And I made it myself. Ah. Sometimes that's the best part is that you did it yourself. It's kind of like Notion. Oh yeah, there are other apps out there that you can use to do the same things that Notion does. But the fact that you get to build Notion yourself I hope you guys have a great week. Remember, it's not always about productivity. Sometimes it's just about having fun and making things a little 
more beautiful than it used to be. And until next time, happy building a notion.